Alrighty YouTube and welcome back to Fern Valley Farms YouTube channel. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Vince and welcome to the channel. Um, Alright, we're thinking about hot weather right now. As you've been, I've been putting these videos out, uh, getting all my stuff built. Spring is right around the corner, got a lot of stuff to get rebuilt, built, painted, and outside uh, ready for the bees. So, a couple more things I gotta get done. This is one of the last ones I gotta build is my ventilation box. These here again are just so simple. And all you're gonna do is you're gonna measure out your boards. You know, you take take yourself a deep or a super <coughs> and uh, measure it, you know, match the measurements up. I wanna say, I have, I have the outside, I do it where I nail the boards to this side instead of on the inside. So I just nail it this way. So this outside board here is uh, six and a quarter or 16 and a quarter this one here is 18 and 3 eighths I believe yes it's 18 and 3 eighths from here to here 16 and 3 quarter right 16 and 3 quarter um, no I'm sorry 16 and 1 quarter this is 16 and 1 quarter 18 and 3 eighths but take yourself a deep and measure it that way it's really easy and then all you do is just glue them together nail them and you're ready to go uh, all this is is for ventilation. You, know, you get, you know, up here and anywhere. It gets hot, it gets humid, it gets muggy. Your poor bees are in there just dying of heat. If, if you see them on the outside of your box bearding, bearding means when you see them all in the front of the box, that means they're hot. You know, if you see them out there even at night when it's really, really muggy and hot, that means they're really, really hot. Um, some bees are just fine with the heat. Others, I've seen some hives are bearding. Other ones aren't, you know. But this just gives a whole bunch of... This just gives a whole bunch more air space in here. And all I do is put this up on top of the inner cover and in my roof um, or my soup. Well, actually, or my supers will go on. Uh, how did I do this now? Or it, it doesn't really matter as long as this is in between. So you can put this above your, you can put this above your inner cover, put your supers on here. You can put your supers on. As long as you, it just gives you more airflow. It just gives more opening with nothing in it except for just to let more heat escape. I drill three holes on the side, two on the front, just for more ventilation. And all this is, this is a, uh, oh, this is probably an inch and a quarter drill bit, uh, sort of a hole saw. But I'm gonna show you the important thing about drilling these holes. I've got this, I've got these already marked. I've got them marked, I've got them basically centered. But here's the trick, and let me turn this camera down here. Okay, when you drill, first of all, determine which way is up, and you can see, you can see here, I've got it marked. So when I put these in, I got the arrow. This is obviously pointing up. So the important thing about drilling these holes is you want to drill them on an angle down. And if you're wondering why, if it rains, you want the water to hit your box and roll down. If it's going to go in that hole, you want it to roll out. You don't want your hole straight. But if it rains, the water will go straight in. Obviously, you don't want your hole this way, you know, going up because the water will run into your hive. So, take it and just, all you do, when you start your drill, you just start drilling it like this. Get it started. And I just tip the hole down, see? So now when you see that, this hole is down. So if it rains, water's gonna come this way, hit that hole, and run this way. You don't want it running into your hive. I mean, if you get a heavy enough rain to where it's blowing, if it's blowing and windy, I mean, if some water gets in there, okay. But you don't want a bunch of water getting in there. So all you do is just drill them like this. Drill it. That's all there is to it. These hole saws, you gotta pop these. And you know how I always say I never throw nothing away? <laughs> you know what I keep these for? Instead of throwing them away, I use it for smoker fuel. I got a whole bucket full of small scrap wood like this that I cut. I use it for smoker fuel, it works great. So now we just come along here Something like that. Yeah. 
So you got the idea. You don't, I, don't, I don't need to sit there and drill all the holes on camera. You got to figure it out. But the, the biggest thing is to drill them on an angle down. So like I said, now when it rains, the water will come down. It'll go that way. Like I said, if it rains hard enough, you know, a little bit of water gets in, that's fine. But you don't want water pouring into your hive because water and bees don't like each other. It doesn't work. <laughs> so, and then what I do is I take my screen. Hold on. Here again, why you don't throw nothing away, my extra scrap from my number eight hardware cloth. Have you seen that video on me building my screen bottom boards? This is the extra. What I do is I cut like little one inch or, you know, inch and a half square pieces of that and I staple it to the inside. Because obviously you don't want bees coming in too, so you gotta cover these holes up. And you could use any kind of screen, even window screen, any kind of scrap you got around, but you just gotta make sure the holes are small enough so bees can't get in. Rob, you know, especially in, in, in the fall, late summer, robber bees, yellow jackets, yellow jackets can be such a pain in the ass. Um, yellow jackets, get in there, get down in your hive, uh, robber bees. So you just put screen over the hole. So I just keep all my scrap, I cut little, you know, inch and a half by inch and a half squares, take my staple gun, staple them, and that's all there is to it. And then the last step of this, obviously, is to paint it. So I only built two of these for right now, that's all I kind of need, I've got a whole bunch of other ones ready to go. Um, so I just built two more, and that's what I'm going to need. I think for this year, if I need more, I'll just rebuild them, or I'll build more. So that's it. This is this really easy ventilation box. Like I said, it just gives you more air in your hive. I mean, just picture being in an apartment with 100 of your friends. It's 110 degrees, no air conditioning, windows are closed, Ugh. right? It just, it, just, it just gives a little bit more air into the hive. Um, that's all it does. So I, I don't put these on until it really, really gets hot and humid. You could do it when it's warm on it. doesn't really matter. Like last year, all of a sudden one day it was fine. All of a sudden one day it was 100 degrees. It's like, oops. So I haul all these things out there and put them on. It, it, it seems that you seem to notice a little bit of a difference. You see a little bit less bearding sometimes, but you still might even see bearding. So, but it ain't going to hurt. So anyway, it, and it's really cheap to build. And like I said in my other videos, and I'll put it right here, a, this is a 1x8. You get a 1x8x16, by by I'm sorry, 1x8x12, by we'll build two boxes. So when you build all your stuff, and I've said this in the other videos, when you build your boxes, your deeps, your supers, your uh, screen bottom, well, screen bottom is a little different story, Don't that's not a good example. Deep supers, these, um, frames for your high top feeders. All those are all the same dimension as like a, a deep box or a super. So one by whatever by 12 foot is what you want to get. Don't buy two six foot boards, it ain't going to come out right. You got to buy a 12 foot board. You only waste about four and a half, five inches of, of wood at the end of it. So one by, this is a one by eight by 12 gives you two boxes. So anyways, that's my story. That's it. Hopefully you like this video. Let me know in the comments below if you guys use ventilation boxes. I'm just curious how many people do it. Some people don't. I see a, you see a lot of videos with guys with a lot of hives. They don't use them. Some guys use them. So let me know if you use ventilation boxes. I'm just curious. If you build your own, you buy your own, whatever. Build them. It's so simple. Save the money. We spend enough money on our bees. Why not save a little bit? Um, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the subscribe button right here. Subscribe to the channel, I really, really, really appreciate it. When you do subscribe, hit that little bell right there. When you hit that bell, you get notified every time my video comes out. Also, thumbs up are greatly appreciated. It makes these videos pop up in searches faster. Um, anyways, that's it. Like I said, the last step to do will be to paint all this stuff. Uh, so hopefully you liked the video, and I will see you next time. All right, we'll talk to you. Bye.